I know I let a lot of you guys down and I want to say like I am truly sorry. I'm sorry I let y'all down. I'm so sorry. <laughs> What's good YouTube? It's your girl Michelle here and I'm back at it with another video. Now if this is your first time ever being on my cello then cello wow if this is your first time ever being on my channel then hey hello i was thinking a little bit too ahead of myself but yeah i just want to say hi and welcome to my channel make sure you smash that subscribe button right here sis so i'll give you a minute and if you're already part of my family then welcome back fam welcome to another video now today's video is going to be a pharmacy school video i know I know, I know, you guys want to cut my head off, you guys want to kill me, like I already know. I'm so sorry, I really do apologize. I know when I started this channel, I intended to do a lot of pharmacy school videos, but you guys, I was just in a really like weird place, like I know it's no excuse, but I was very uncomfortable, like I just didn't want to make a lot of videos, and I'm sorry, I started to shift my focus on hair and makeup, and that's, and clothes and stuff like that, and vlogs and I'm just showing you guys all this good life as if I'm not struggling in pharmacy school as if pharmacy school is not struggling itself um, so I do want to apologize and I want to say I'm sorry about that um, I am in my fourth year and I'm already halfway through my rotations but you know what it's better late than never for me to share this experience with you guys while I'm still in school while I'm still a student and I do continue to uh, I do plan on continuing to share my experience as I plan to take my NAPLEX, my MPJE, um, all of that stuff, trying to decide if I'm going to take the CPJE. Um, so it's not over, you guys. Although I am in my fourth year, it's definitely not over. It doesn't mean that you guys don't get to see what's going on with me and my pharmacy uh, career. So like I said, I just want to apologize. And yeah, let me give you guys an update because... Your girl's been, you know, posting all types of videos, acting like she's not in school, when yes, indeed, if you came on this channel and you subscribed to me because of pharmacy school videos, I, like I said, I'm sorry, but here I am. I'm here with a pharmacy school video for you guys. So shout out to the people that stuck around with me, although I didn't give you guys the pharmacy school videos that you were probably planning on receiving on this channel. But Things are going to change. We have a couple of uh, months till the new year, 2020. 2020 is going to be a great year because it is the year I graduate. There's just going to be a lot of big changes in my life for 2020. So I hope you guys are here to join me and witness all these different things as I go through a lot of life changes. You guys may see the tears, the happy moments, the sad moments, the depressed moments. You guys are going to see me because I'm here to be transparent with you guys. I don't want to put on a front. I could come on the internet and act like everything's gravy but that's not how life works and that's not the type of person I am and that's not the type of people that I like to watch on YouTube so I'm assuming you guys want the real real and you guys don't want pharmacy painted in just like this pretty picture as if you know there's not a struggle that comes along with it and everyone struggles even if they did great in school there's just you're gonna struggle with something along the way because that's just how life works um but yeah let's talk let's talk let's talk let's talk you guys so I I did a life update but I didn't really do a pharmacy school update so this video is gonna be strictly on pharmacy school um I will have a life update for you guys maybe uh, if I feel like talking about whatever has been going on um, then I may have a life update for you guys later on but as of right now let's just talk about pharmacy school so as you guys know I am in my fourth year of pharmacy school I did move from Spokane to Seattle so now I'm based in Seattle which <sighs> that was a blessing for me you guys that was really 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 a blessing for me and the reason I say that is just because I did not like it in Spokane I did not like it in Eastern Washington I didn't feel like that was a place that I should be at like I was just there because I had to be there obviously for school and I could never see myself living over there um, outside of like going there for school like that just 
that just wasn't a good time for me, a good time period. So I'm happy that I'm in Seattle. I'm happy to be around fam the family that I do have in Seattle. I'm happy to be around like the friends that I uh, do have in Seattle and the people that I have seen so far. I like haven't really seen a lot of people since I've been back in Seattle and I think Part of it is because I'm so conditioned to being on the other side of the state where my school is. And because, like I said before in one of my, um, in my mukbang, um, because I did not like it there, I wasn't kicking it with that many people. Like I had a couple of friends, but I think some of my friendships just, the, the friendships that I experienced with the fake ass, you know, those those friendships kind of ruined it for me and it kind of put a, a bad taste in my mouth, you know what I mean? So... Now that I'm around loved ones, I'm so happy. I feel so comfortable. I love being in the city. I'm such a city girl, so I really like being in the city. I love the hustle and bustle, and that's where my rotations are. Most of my rotations are downtown, um, so I'm in the heart of the city. So I'm in the heart of Seattle. I get to do the hustle and bustle, and I love it. I feel like that's just made for me. Um, but anyways, yeah, so. Like I said, I'm in my fourth year, um, so we've made it through. Well, I'm on my third rotation right now, so it's block four. We have eight blocks, so we're literally halfway through. Um, so my first one was in Maryland, and that was at a Walgreens, and it was supposed to be a specialty, but I ended up just being at like a regular community rotation. Um, to be honest, that to be honest, that was just a very different experience for me being at that specific store. It wasn't like community like I had remembered it to be when I was like a technician in training. It was just not the best, you know, rotation for me. And I did meet some cool people, which was cool. But to be honest, that just like that store just... That's all I'm going to say. But what it did teach me is how to work really fast and to be like efficient and fast, which is cool, uh, which is important too because it can be hectic in the pharmacies. Um, my second rotation was then at a um, psychiatric clinic. And when you think psych clinic, you think, oh, whoa. Like you think that there's going to be like patient running around like that's the that's the thought that I had in my head like I thought that I was going to be at a psych hospital or you know like a psych ward or something like that and it definitely was not that it was such a great experience my preceptor was awesome amazing I loved it there honestly if I could get a job there after graduation I would love that um but I really liked it there I learned I mean it was focused specifically mostly on psych meds you did see like you know your top 200 here and there but I saw a lot of clozapines a lot of like a lot of just psych anti-psychotic drugs so Rexalti stuff like that and that was just great I, I loved my preceptor so much um, she really made me appreciate it. I love the technicians at that place. They just made me feel at home, very comfortable. And it was a very safe learning experience. So I really did like that. If you guys have the opportunity to go to a psych clinic, do it. Because even with interacting with the patients and the patients that are on daily med monitoring and stuff like that, it taught me a lot with communicating with them, knowing when to just, you know, don't take everything they say and get upset because, you know, Sometimes, you know, they're, they're not okay and um, not everything that comes out their mouth is really like thought about, you know. So it taught me a lot of patience and how to interact with different uh, patients that are that have different mental capacities and they're in different, you know, stages of their life. So that was really cool. Um, and then right now I'm currently at this really big clinic in Seattle um and there's a lot of them so i'll just say polyclinic but um and it's really amazing like there's lots of doctors at first i thought it was a little intimidating just because there's lots of doctors which means that there's lots of prescriptions coming down and they strictly had me just counseling for like the first three weeks and that was really really scary because it was scary just because like the preceptor would just be there like watching you so they would be there standing over you for every single medication that you're counseling on. And that's a little like intimidating when you have like when you're counseling and you know that someone's just staring at you, standing behind you. Um, and then on top of that, like I don't have 
too much experience with counseling because I haven't been working. So it's just been like a really big learning situation or whatever and I've learned a lot so far um, and I really like it. So now let's talk about some things I wish I knew before I started my rotations. So before I started my rotations um, or advice I would like to give. Um, so for our school, they tell us to reach out to our preceptors, which are the pharmacists that are going to be um, looking over you while you're at their site and giving you your grade and stuff like that. So they encourage us to reach out to them like within a certain time period, a minimum of four weeks before, sometimes ahead of time, just to see if there's anything that you need to review or anything like that. If your school does not require it, I would highly suggest you do it just to know what guidelines should I look at, what medications should I focus on and kind of have a little bit of a background on because you're not going to know everything on all your rotations. Now is your time to be dumb, okay? Now is the time for you to make all the mistakes before you're actually liable and before you're actually a pharmacist. So now's the time to just get all your mess ups out the way um, because it's not going to be tolerated when you're a pharmacist. So definitely just ask your preceptor, what can I, what uh, should I look over, dress code, parking, all of that stuff. Do that if your school doesn't already require that you do that. Another thing I was told on my rotation is uh, one of the pharmacists I worked with on my first one gave me the advice that you should write a thank you letter um, to all of your preceptors at the end of your rotations. And some of you guys might be like, oh, duh. But some of you guys actually probably don't even do it, so don't be over here judging me. But not only in that thank you letter should it just be like, thank you for having me at your site, but you should also tell them the things that you've learned so they can know that you've taken away something from each of your rotations, which is something that I have done so far. I have wrote a thank you letter. I have said these are the things that I've learned. I do have a business card with my picture on it. <laughs> I got a business card specifically with my picture on it so they can remember my face. So in the future, if I ever need a reference or anything like that, it's not like a name like, oh, that name sounds familiar, but they could put a face to a name and be like, oh yeah, I remember her. So that's the reason why I did that. And also if I need a job, you know, they have my contact information and I have theirs. So I do that with all my rotations. I do a thank you card. I say, these are the things I've learned for your, from your rotation. And I give them my business card. And that's the way to kind of keep those open lines of like you know because pharmacy is such a small world you never know who you're gonna need so it's definitely just that good it's good to have those you know relationships in place um another thing that i would like to say is if you don't have an idea of what you want to do definitely start thinking about it throughout your years in pharmacy school it's kind of hard to know exactly what you want to do and it's really best to try to figure that out your fourth year but if you can have a better idea of where you want to go your fourth year then that helps you out because on your rotations these preceptors are going to be asking you what is it that you want to do once you graduate and and I know it's like there's nothing wrong with not knowing because for me I really don't know but it kind of makes it easier because if they know this is what you want to do they're going to help tailor your rotation to help you with your end goal you know what I mean so it's definitely good like if you can already think about it if you're in your third year and you know what you want to do great you're you're doing you're doing just great sweetie you're doing fine sweetie so if you know this is what I want to do then that's great if you're going into your fourth year and you still don't know just start thinking about it a lot more because there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to start happening like right now I think uh it's not mid-year but I think it's APHA um that is about to have their uh convention soon and it's like, I don't know if I want to go because I never really thought of doing residency, but then now I'm being open minded. And it's just, it's a, it's a mess with where I am right now. My head's everywhere. I really don't know. Um, so I'm really confused on what I'm going to do if I'm going to stay in Washington. If I go back to California, what now? I have to, you know, study for the CPJE. So I'm like, just confused, you guys. Um, this video is already 15 minutes, so I really just don't want to take up 
All right, it's getting close to 15 minutes so I really just don't want to make this too long this is just a video to let you know I'm back girls and boys here we are Michelle's back I have some pharmacy school videos that I'll have coming up for you guys so don't give up on me I'm I'm back I'm so sorry um, well I'm back as far as it goes for pharmacy school videos so I hope you guys subscribe if this is your first time ever being on my channel because I definitely have a lot more videos focused on pharmacy not just hair fashion and makeup okay um, but that's about it for this video again don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to tell your mommy your auntie your brother your brother's girlfriend and your grandma to join my family and i'll see y'all in my next one much love bye youtube